today we are going to see the mediastinum mediastinum is the space between the two pleural sacs which enclose the lungs this is the right side left side right lung and left lung you can see the intervening heart with the apex directed towards the left side so mediastinum has been divided into superior and inferior mediastinum by an imaginary line passing through the lower border of manubrium sterni in front and to the lower border of the fourth thoracic vertebra behind here the th bony thoracic cage has been removed so uh, you can see that this is the uh, mediastinum between the two lungs and the pleura now i will take out this lung so that you can see the subdivisions and contents of the mediastinum uh, you know that the mediastinum has been divided into superior and inferior parts uh, at uh, starting from the level of sternal angle that is nothing but the lower border of manubrium sterni and the upper border of the body of the sternum junction point so here is the one of the change that we can see at the level of sternal angle that ascending aorta ends and arch of aorta starts so you can consider this could be the anterior limit of the mediastinum or the superior mediastinum so i'll just remove this these lungs will keep the heart in situ or for uh, for timing will keep the left lung also so because of this subdivisions there is a superior mediastinum and inferior mediastinum presence of heart and large blood vessels at the root of the heart divides the inferior mediastinum into anterior mediastinum which lies behind the sternum and in front of the pericardium and the heart middle mediastinum and the posterior mediastinum middle mediastinum encloses the pericardium heart and the root of the great vessels so that is the widest subdivision of the mediastinum so these are the three subdivisions of medias inferior mediastinum anterior middle and posterior middle mediastinum is occupied by the pericardium the heart and the origins or the roots of the great blood vessels